Hello everybody and welcome back to a mini update of uh, Roots of Hatcher. Yes, indeed, we are back. Because the devs have told me that they did a little bit of uh, updating to the game. And uh, I thought I'd like to show you guys. So, one of the first things that I would like to do, we're going to go and do a bit of fishing. And uh, I'm going to pick up that shell just because I can. <laughs> I want to do a little bit of fishing. And uh, there's something new you can do with the fish now. Yes, yes. I got my little uh, multi-tool out there. I just want uh, one fish, just just for demonstration purposes. There we go. I've got a hammer fish, so I'm gonna go over to my drying racks now. And you remember me saying uh, when I was playing this first time round that I was like, oh, it would be really nice if you could put other things in the drying racks, like fish. So apparently now, I can put my fish in the drying rack, and we're gonna get some dried fish. So that's really cool. The other thing that we can apparently do is in, in patches, and it, it is patcher, it's not packer. Um, and, and the other thing I forgot to tell you was you can do a little dance as well. I completely forgot to tell you that you can dance. And also, also, you can dance with other people. Um, I finished recording my last set and I was like, I didn't do the dancing, but it was too late by then. So where is everybody? Will you dance with me? You're already dancing. So if we're gonna do a dance, then they like you better and they dance with you usually. That's pretty cool. So anyway, <laughs> that's my, my, my next bit is uh, apparently there is now some better cooking. So I think we can go, it said it was in the hearth. So is that is that this building? I think it's this building. And if you go up apparently to any of the sort of cooking utensils and things so probably here I think you can use them now you can indeed so if I had potatoes carrot and an ostrich egg or tomato wheat bread and garlic or potatoes carrots brown mushroom and garlic or porcupine oh that's a fish I think sun-dried tomato and oregano then we could make certain things so I'm thinking maybe we should uh, go and find go see if we can find a few ingredients and see if we can do some cooking how much room I got on my inventory? Not very much. Let's um, maybe sell some of the things that are not going to be able to be turned into stuff. So we've got wheat flour. So maybe I should make some bread. Tomatoes, yes, they seem fine. Probably to get rid of all the shells and wood and all that sort of thing. Because I don't think I'm going to need that for a cooking demonstration, am I? Really? No, no, no. So we'll throw them all in the, in the mutual contribution bin. Also, you might be wondering, how did I, how did I manage to get my save game back? Because I've been telling you all the way through that it's not saving. Well, apparently in the background it was saving, but there was just no way to access the saves. So when I thought I was losing the game by, you know, sort of logging out, oh, this is going to take forever. The one part of this game that I really, really think needs to, to change in the and probably will to be honest in the in the actual. You know what? It's fine. I, I I'm sure I've got enough spaces that I can do something. Okay. I've got like five spaces, so I want to get stuff like uh, potatoes and stuff like that. So let's go over to. The, I mean, I could have a look at my farm as well, but let's go up over here and see if there's anything ripe at the moment in the in the wilderness where the ostriches live so garlic seems to be a thing and i know where the garlic lives the garlic lives up here so we'll see if that's ripe yet Which i think it might be possibly yes we got some garlic nice so garlic was a thing potatoes tomatoes and then fish and things like that. So I just, I want to at least cook like one meal and show you. Maybe even see if I can get the stuff together for all four meals. But, you know, we'll see about that. Because it does require me catching a really specific fish. I don't know if I got the patience for that, but we'll have to see. I don't think mushrooms are involved. The, oh, these are potatoes up here. I think that might be enough to make something. 
I think it was egg and potato and garlic or something, wasn't it? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what else. I'm going to go have a look at the recipe again. But it's awesome. And apparently also, just uh, I'm going to try this with something I've got lots of. So maybe maybe a tomato. Apparently you can now eat. I think. Did I put in the radial menu? Yes. So if you press E for the radial menu while you've got a tomato, you can eat the tomato. And I assume that that's going to give you a little bit of stamina. So eating and cooking is now in. How cool is that? As I say, this might not be a very long video. It's just like kind of a mini update. It's more like a, I, I just wanted to show you a cool thing. And if I want to make a 10 minute video to show you a cool thing, then I will. <laughs> but yeah, I just, um, it's not my usual format, but I, I sometimes something's cool enough that I'm like, yeah, I want to show you this. And you know, bef just before the Kickstarter, sort of ends. I'd like if any of you, you know, wanted to see how the game was and what things have been added since. The fact that the Kickstarter, it's been a month and, and they've already added extra bits and pieces into the demo. I think that speaks a lot for how they're going to update the game as well. Okay, so let's go back and see if I can make any of these meals. I should do some work and see how it affects my stamina, shouldn't I? Okay, so I think I can probably use this Ah, oh, no, I can't. Okay. Can I use this oven as well? It looks to be all the same stuff, though. I need carrots. Ah, oh, man. Carrots and mushrooms. Okay. I think there were carrots up there as well. I didn't get them. And there's mushrooms, but I don't think I'm going to have room. Can I, like, throw those away? You can throw them on the floor. <laughs> I need them to be gone. Oh, they're stuck on my... Um, they, were, they were stuck. Okay, I am going to have to throw them all in the bin. Drop multiple is my biggest request in this game. I'll get rid of them eventually. I'm going to go look at my farm. Like, I, I don't want to spend too long throwing those in the bin, but I'll, I will if I need to. I think I, I literally am down to only... Ooh, look! Only tomatoes there now. I think I decided that as I was getting towards the end. So I've got a dried hammerfish. Nice! So I can either eat that or I can uh, throw that in the, in the thing. And then we'll see how much uh, dried fish goes for when we end the day, which I probably will do at some point. Alright, let's go get some carrots. I don't know what that is. That looks new. 201 hand points. <laughs> I don't know. Is that stamina? Is that... Is this... I don't know what these things are. I think they should uh, maybe pop up for what they are when you hover over them again. Just another little thing that I think would be cool. I am not a talent, super talented game dev though, so I, you know, I ask for these things knowing that uh, it is just something from a gamer's perspective. And that I really have no right to ask for it. <laughs> but when something's in like super early development, I don't feel so bad about saying that, things like that because I'm like, you know what? It's cool. Right, that was some carrots. Wild carrots. No. I was trying to go up there and get that carrot. And there's some carrots over here too. Purple carrots. A lot of people really liking the purple carrots in the comments uh, when I was playing this before. And then finding other faults with the other things. But the purple carrots were a big hit, I think. <laughs> oh, apparently I did have just about enough room for the brown mushroom as well. Okay, we could definitely make some stuff with this. I might go to sleep so that it's like daylight when I do the cooking as well. And then I'm going to probably, well that way we can see how much the dried fish sold for as well, which is kind of cool. Like I say, I'm really happy because they were like, I was like, I want to dry the fish. And then they were like, here you go, she lab, have some dried fish. And I was like, yeah, awesome. Because <laughs> my first thought was I want to dry this fish. And they were like, we agree. <laughs> So I, was, I think that's why um, the devs were like, one of the devs was contacting me and said we've, we've done updates and things. I think that's why they wanted me to look at it because they're like, we put your dried fish in, Sheila. I was like, yes. Okay. I get very overexcited about these things. 
I hope I've managed to catch all, like, the, the things they told me about was the, the dried fish and the cooking. So I'm hoping that I have caught all the little updates. There might be something I'm missing, because you know what I'm like. Where's my, where's my house gone now? I forgot where I put it. <laughs> I think I've gone too far. My house is, like, the other side of the field. I don't remember where I built my own house. Gosh. So let's go to sleep. And then, as I say, I'll be able to tell you then. And apparently, I think eventually you'll be able to possibly do things inside your house as well. I'm not sure, though. Going to sleep for the day. So a dried fish went for 15, so that's not too bad. I got a lot of, lot of money for my plant fiber as well. I sold a lot of that. Okay, let's go and make a meal. What's this down here? That looks like a... Oh! I'm cooking something! Oh, and I'm, I'm chopping! Oh, this is awesome! I made roasted vegetables! Oh, that's so cool! I get a little, a little snapshot in my... I don't know if there's like a... if that shows up in my inventory later on or... No, it doesn't look like those. It looks like they, those just pop up. That's really cool. So roasted vegetables, um, and I can do this one. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, I love it! It's so cute. Oh, stir, 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 stir. That's brilliant. Okay, and I made potato salad. Okay, what else can I make? I I need to make a bit of bread. I think to make one of the other ones. Um, and then the other one needs a, a sun-dried tomato. Oh gosh, I'd better go and sun-dry a tomato then. I'd better go and water my crops too before they die. Um, and a porcupine fish and oregano. I could definitely find those, I reckon. But we'll make, I'll start making bread first. And we'll see about making some sun-dried tomatoes. Are these, are these tomatoes or wild tomatoes? Now, tomatoes can be sun-dried. Oh yeah, those can be dried, definitely. Tomatoes can be dried, uh, but wild tomatoes that you find in the... I'll just dry all three of them. Actually, I'm gonna keep one. Uh, I'd forgotten, I've forgotten the, the recipes and what I need, so if I needed an actual tomato, then I'd be in trouble, but let's have a look. What I actually need so I can keep my inventory. Yeah, I do need an actual tomato for that one, and I need a sun-dried tomato for that one. And we need to find some oregano. Problem is, because there's such limited uh, inventory space at the moment, uh, all the oregano and things that I have found previously, I've kind of thrown straight in the bucket, so... That's not great. Let's get my water skin. And let's uh, water these guys a bit. Oh, look, my tomatoes are... It looks to me as well, like the drying racks and I'm pretty sure the fermenter as well. Oh, that's a good point. I need to be fermenting my flour because I made some flour, but I need to ferment it. And... Oh, look, I got some bread already done. Oh, cool. And I even have room for it. I'm going to sell the meals as well so I can show you guys how much they sell for. I haven't used up any stamina really to, to do comparisons of that. I just need to make a little bit of room, you see. So it's my potato salad and um, my roasted veggies. I'll move them across so I can put them in. We'll see how much meals go for, because I probably go for a bit more than just your average vegetables and things, so that'd be really cool. So yeah, I got my bread. I've got my sun-dried tomatoes here, so I just need to find a porcupine fish. You can run through the... I don't know if it's me, but I think you can run through the grass a bit easier now as well. Oh, that's not my... That's not the right place. That's my house. I want the hearth. So. I should now be able to make myself this one. Oh, I love that you use different parts of the kitchen. 
I think that's really cool. Tomato bisque. So the very last one, I just need to get that really specific fish and I need to find some oregano. What else was it? Garlic, was it? I've got loads of garlic, so... Oh, the sun-dried tomatoes I've got. Okay, keep those. Right. Well, I might need a little bit more space, so I will probably sell my tomato bisque as well. We'll be able to see how much they go for. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to need to... <laughs> I'm gonna need a bit of space, unfortunately, for the. Well, I could sell the. I need to. It's tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes, oregano, and fish, isn't it? So I could sell the carrots and the potatoes, for example. Just give myself a bit more room for fishing and see if I can make that last one. I'm gonna go to sleep. Or maybe that's how much gold I have. Probably, isn't it? It doesn't say it anywhere else. Yeah, I bet that's my gold. Or my um, companionship coins. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> my contribution coins. Contribution credits. Right, so. Roasted veggies went for 12. For one. Tomato bisque went for 12. Data seller went for 12. So that's that's okay. Seven carrots went for 35. So they're like five each. Yeah. Not too bad. Okay, well, in the end, I couldn't find the, uh, the things I needed for that fourth recipe. But uh, I think you guys get the idea. Really cool cooking. Eventually, I'm imagining you'll have more storage and things. You'll be able to just keep a load of fish. There'll probably be more recipes to collect. And it's looking really awesome. The fact that you can now eat is really cool. I'm going to eat this just to end this uh, sun-dried tomato. And I'm going to see if it... Oh, hang on. Got to do it this way. Oh, look. We had a little increase to our, what I imagine is our stamina there. So eating does increase your stamina and that will allow you to do more in the day. So that's fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this little update to Roots of Parcher. I really enjoyed showing you guys. Um, as I say, one day left on the Kickstarter. So if you want to be a, a late adopter, then, then do get in there. Or it might even be two days you've got, but uh, it's not very long. So go and have a look. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Roots of Parcher once it comes out, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know if we come back to the series. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.